What's up everybody, Kevin Bowen here, Lucas Oil Stadium, leaving after a 28-11 victory by the Colts. Really impressed by the defense, what a difference a week makes for that unit. Just the amount of times they were around the ball more today. I think it was nine passes defensed, that is an absurdly high number. Three turnovers forced, um, did a nice job setting the edge on Dalvin Cook in the first half. Just a, It was a wake-up call from Matt Eberflus's unit in week one, they delivered. Offensively, obviously Jonathan Taylor, the coming out party, set the tone early on. You know, what was it, 10 carries in the opening drive. Uh, Mo Ali cox bouncing back from a big drop early on. Five catches for 111 for him. That was needed without Jack Doyle. Um, yeah, we can nitpick, you know, a little bit of red zone issues, third down as well. Those are things to work on. But still, I thought it was a really complete performance. Uh, special teams-wise, Rodrigo Blankenship, I think perfect six for six today. Luke Rhodes, a great play to down a uh, ball inside the five that turned into a safety as well. So, again, just a really, really uh, necessary effort for this team and uh, bouncing back in a key, key way. So good work by Frank Reich and his staff. Uh, obviously, the injuries, uh, that's the biggest negative coming out of today. Paris Campbell, the injury. Frank Reich, his update was it did not look good. Um, you know, hopefully that's not season ending, but boy, that, uh, that didn't look good from the press box. And Frank Reich certainly had a better view than, uh, than I did. Mo, uh, Malik Hooker and Achilles injury. Now, Julian Blackman, the rookie safety did play pretty well today in his NFL debut, but still, uh, you know, if Hooker's lost for the year, then your depth of safety is going to be tested big time. So one-on-one big bounce back necessary. We'll be back here uh, next week. Colts and Jets at 405. See ya.